Okay, recently, a yet another uh, fat fluencer or obesity positivity uh, person, uh, you know, fat phobia is a bad thing, person has recently died at a young age in Spain. 46 year old died apparently working on some synchronized swimming uh, routine. Now, that is, again, tragic and awful, and 46 is, is obviously much too young to die, and particularly secondary to chronic disease, which is what she obviously would have been suffering from. Uh, you know, we hear many, many lies around this whole topic, right? We hear that uh, fat is beautiful, right? Or, you know, uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And, you know, it's not to say that you cannot be a beautiful person and be overweight or obese, you know, beautiful personality, you know, wonderful person, uh, so on and so forth. But the physicality of beauty, uh, except in, you know, very, very sort of, I guess, unusual circumstances, most people do not consider morbid obesity beautiful now maybe there's a few that do but i mean in general uh that's you know that's that's something that we're being pushed this narrative that this is actual beauty when i think most of us inherently know it's not it basically represents unhealth and we do not consider unhealthy things to be appealing typically that's that's a typical i mean it's, it's a primitive visceral response but be, besides that that's not really the real issue here the issue is that the lies were being told in support of all of this. So aside from the fact that, you know, big is beautiful, body positivity, all those types of things, and it results in the, you know, untold probably suffering and, and early demise of probably now into the millions of people that sort of fall into this or feel, or feel really hopeless about it. Um, you know, the next thing we hear is this sort of uh, belief that you know, ultra processed foods are now healthy for us. You know, the USDA is putting this message out there, you know, with a recent study, the NOVA study, 91% of your diet can come from ultra processed foods and still be quote unquote healthy, right? And remember, you can get obese and still be beautiful and that's still healthy too. You remember Cosmopolitan pushing that me message of this is healthy, right? Well, it's not, it's not healthy by any stretch. Anyway, so going on to this, you know, we talk about the fact that the, well, the same people that'll tell you that big is beautiful will also say that food addiction does not exist. There's no such thing as that, despite studies that clearly point to the fact that it does, despite uh, the, the uh, commentary people that say they are addicted to food, despite the fact that the clinicians that treat food addiction on a regular basis, it is, it is an actual issue and it does occur. And we have all these eating disorders, binge eating disorders. It, it affects large segments of the population, quite honestly, to some in one form or the other to some degree or another. So that is that is clear. Uh, the next thing they're telling us now is obesity is a disease that there's nothing you can do about. You know, you've got a lady sitting on the US Dietary Guidelines panel, you know, Dr. Fatima Stanford, telling us that obesity has nothing to do with what you eat. It has nothing to do with the fact that you exercise. And so therefore, and oh, by the way, she's funded by the drug companies that make, yeah, obesity injection medications. And, and, and I think this is really the, the sort of the uh, final lie that I think is really, really where it all comes from, to be honest. Um, you know, these, these new drugs, these uh, GLP-1 receptor agonists, these GIP inhibitors, these glucagon uh, mimetics that are all coming out to be coming out soon, you know, will cause weight loss, but only only in the event that you take them for the rest of your life, right? I mean, this is what we're finding out. And they're, they're trying to get you to say, well, it's like blood pressure. You know, if you have hyper, hypertension, you're going to be taking a blood pressure medicine for the rest of your life. That is the expectation that we have learned to accept, except that expectation is false. You know, I see, I mean, literally on a daily basis, people with high blood pressure come off medicines because they no longer need it before. Same thing with diabetes. And again, all these chronic lifetime diseases, which the drug companies tell you they are chronic and lifetime, there's nothing to do, there's no such thing as a cure. All there is is chronic medication, and we're trying to convert obesity in the same way to the tune of what will likely be hundreds upon hundreds of billions of dollars, if not into the trillions of dollars, right? So this is all an effort to set up this population. You know, you make them fat, and you make them sick, and it's challenging, I will admit that. Once you become obese, it is very challenging, right? mindset wise, you know, physiologic wise to get back into that non-obese category. It is definitely doable. And, you know, prevention obviously should be the first goal. You know, teach your children how to cook for God's sake, you know. <laughs> you know, if you if, if you teach your children how to order DoorDash or, 
go to fast food places or open boxes, you know, that's not good parenting in my mind, right? So this is a thing that we see there. There is no, you know, these drugs are not a cure for obesity. They are a chronic medication for obesity, again, to the tune of, you know, what is it, $1,000 a month for some of these drugs uh, for the rest of your life. You think about that, $12,000 a year for the rest of your life. Let's say you live another 40 years. You know, how much money does half a million dollars you're giving to these drug companies? So anyway, a lot of lies out there, folks. There's a better way to do that. Come check us out at Rivero. We are working with those issues. And step one is get people unaddicted to the processed food. That is job number one, okay? How do you do that? Well, you, you know, for, I mean, there's a lot of things you gotta do there. But step one is eating the right food. You know, step two is, you know, providing the support. And there's a lot of things that go into that. And I deal with that every day. Um, you guys take care. Let me know what you think. Do you think that big is beautiful? Do you think that ultra processed foods are healthy? Uh, do you think that obesity is a disease and there's nothing you can do about it? Do you think that these drugs are the salvation? Anyway, let me know in the comments. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.